So a very common question asked is why is my microphone static or why does my Cox box not work? Why can't my rowers not hear me? There's three main reasons. There's a number of reasons or a number of things that could happen, but there's three big ones. And those are going to be that you either have speakers that have gotten wet, um, you know, from getting awake in the boat and getting substantially wet. And speakers actually make noise by uh, quickly vibrating a diaphragm um, extremely rapidly and uh, creating sound waves that we hear as words or commands or whatever. And if you put water on there and now you've changed the weight of the diaphragm, it simply can't move as quickly and it changes the way it vibrates and we hear it as static even though it's producing the, the correct uh, output. Um, the sound waves it generates are of course different and we don't understand it. So that could be one reason. You could just remedy that by letting your speakers dry out or if you have a very big budget you could replace the speakers at that point. Um, speakers uh, get expensive quite quickly. Other option or other uh, cause of that might be that you turn the volume up too high on your Cox box. These Cox boxes actually produce more than enough power to blow out the speakers in the boat. Um, and I don't know why that is, but um, if you turn it up past halfway usually, um, you can blow out all the speakers in the boat and uh, actually vibrate that diaphragm so quickly by increasing the volume that you uh, break part of the speaker. So that would cause a uh, static here or not working speakers. And the third and uh, last most common one is actually uh, that you just get severe static when you jiggle your microphone around. And that's actually because you, the contacts or the wires inside here, right where they meet this plug, have broken. And that's usually when you see a coxswain carrying their cox box around by the wire, dangling it, or if uh, even just carrying it from uh, the dock to the boathouse, if you have a handful of water bottles and you crush it, that's really damaging on this wire here. You really want to unplug this every time before you get out of the boat. How the microphone works to make noise is these two little contacts and it sends out one little electrical signal and it goes through the microphone and your voice actually vibrates a diaphragm that changes the electrical signal as it comes back in. And so if, by changing that electrical signal, uh, that's how you get noise. If you go ahead and connect it, you'll hear a little static pop there. And so if you imagine the wires being broken here and you twisting on this, that rapidly connects and disconnects the uh, wires, letting the electricity jump back and forth, and that's that static pop you hear, um, or that pure sh static that just goes on and on, that's the electricity jumping back and forth thousands of times a second over that broken gap. Uh, if you're at that point, then you really need a new microphone. Um, they're about $100 from NK, so you really want to take care of it. This plug's a, a big weak point on the Cox box. You really want to take care of uh, your microphone so you don't have to go buy another one. But those are going to be your three main reasons for staticky speakers. Um, again, if you uh, are out of microphones, because that's a common one, you could use a speaker actually from uh, another boat or somewhere in the boathouse to plug into your Cox box and use that as your speaker for practice. You'll have to talk very closely into it, very loudly, but it'll work just as well. And uh, speaker's only about 35 bucks and microphones are about 100, so it's a uh, cheaper microphone there for you. But hopefully that gives you some ideas of how to remedy or um, prevent getting staticky speakers. Thanks for watching.